everyone this is Donna and today I want to share with you uh, a Marie Antoinette cupcake doily book that I made using the images from Natasha's scrapbook corner she has a large assortment at this time of different kinds of photos that you can use you can enlarge them or make them smaller with your on with your computer programs and I, I made a mix here of, uh, I think it's called uh, Marie Antoinette Cake 1. And, uh, but anyway, go to her page, go to her store, and check out what she has available. There's a lot more than what I'm going to be able to share with you today. So I have a mix here of two different digis that she's offering. When I say two, it's four for a page. So it's two different pages that are in this doily book. And I had a lot of fun. I'm new at this thing about making doily books. But I have had so much fun these days playing around and making these. Over here I have uh, some ribbons, seam binding, and a charm is here. And this flower on top of the knot of the seam binding, which is what keeps the book together front cover is a teacup with roses in it and uh, there's gold trims along the edges and a lot of rhinestones a lot of bling we said Marie Antoinette and you know how she liked to bling and here's another one right here and you'll notice that the book has a whole bunch of goodies hanging down and I put rhinestones on them and pearls so that they add to the beauty of the dangly laces. Um, there's a highlight of, of blue in this book since um, a lot of the pictures have blue and pink. So there's blue and pink but a lot of highlight of a deeper blue than what I usually use. And if you follow me you already know that I, I usually use everything pink. So here's the the image of Marie Antoinette with a cake and there's pearls and there's rhinestones and a lot of doilies and a lot of goodness hanging down here as you can see and there is a avocado dyed doily down here my friend Fava Force she gave me some some avocado dye and I used it recently and I love how it looks just love it. So that's my first page. My second page is Marie Antoinette. In this one she has a blue dress and in this one she has uh, a wine color dress. And I use from Natasha's store so many goodies that she has. Uh, for example, this pink um, fiber is actually the butterflies that you can purchase at her shop. Um, I use appliques and laces and and rhinestones and all sorts of pretty goodies down here you'll see all of these just had fun just had fun doing this and then over here it's a teacup with a crown and more flowers um, the avocado dye trim is in the back and then there's gold on the four corners a lot of bling a lot of pearls um, uh, more seam binding more goodies hanging down as you can see a lot of little sprays and then this page so pretty it looks a lot like my actual uh, set in my dining room um, it has a uh, yellow and pinkish, a bright pink flower and the teacup with a little cookie. I framed it with these rhinestones. I think they're three millimeter and um, there's this pink applique in the background. Light blue, light blue flowers. This pretty bow over here. Some more danglies here in the front with rhinestones and pearls and doilies in different shades, there's white doilies and pink doilies and more appliques and then 
in the back of the book here she is in a pink dress and this is my last page the back cover and I use some some glass beads here and here and um, pretty heart up here and rhinestones and appliques and paper flowers over here this pretty lace over here you'll see more appliques and pretty flowers and a lot of danglies and this very thin ribbon and gold and this one has pink rhinestones to highlight it and I found this pretty fun um, lace that has these little pieces like that I just thought it was so cute had to have it had to have it so this one is the last one of the series there's four on the page when you stop over at her shop you'll see them and what I did was I just minimized the size so that it could fit my cupcake doily book well and this is the size I was trying not to make it too chunky but I don't know I, I didn't succeed at that apparently and I have it resting in this little plate I think it looks awesome let me know what you think I had a lot of fun making it have a great day everybody